Greetings! Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Maw type run of EV Emerald. Last time, I broke the record for the longest episode in this series so far, just because of how ridiculously long the mid and late game routes are. And how much the AI loves to use moves specifically created to waste your time. If I have any gripe with Gen 3, it's that. Anyway, this time we have a few things to do, starting with some stuff right here in Lilico City. Here we have the final battle with your rival. And, uh, yeah, it's technically optional, but if you want to get into the department store, you have to fight your rival. They just will not move. That's why I started with Skarmori, because fuck Raloom. And this is one notable improvement over the vanilla game, is that in this hack, your rival actually fully evolves their starter! I know, it's amazing! Whereas in vanilla, they never do. Which is infuriating, because after this, they... well, you'll see. Level up! And Leron loves to use Roar, but... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna give you that chance. Oh, fuck off! Oh, fuck off! No! Fuck you! Stop wasting my goddamn time! Finally! Yeah, didn't mean to do that, but Laron forced the issue. Piece of shit. Yeah, eat shit. Not really. Yeah, basically what they're saying at this point is that they've given up on being a trainer. Now, ordinarily, this would be the point where I say I'm supposed to feel bad about this, but no. Honestly, at this point, I say, Go home and bitch to your dad, you little shit. Anyway, now that that is out of the way, we have a couple things we can do. So, over in here is, is the move to leader. We don't need him right now. There's this guy. Who gives you berries? And there's a couple of hidden items here on the beach. Uh, up here, you get a PowerPoint up. That's always nice. I'll hold on to that for later. I don't know what I'm going to use it on. Over here is another hidden item. The heart scale. There might be another one on the beach somewhere. Is there? Yes, there is. 
probably over here. Yep, Pokeball. Which is almost useless at this point. So moving on down here, there is the Pontus Hall. We may or may not go in there eventually. We come over here. And you get a Max Repel. Inside the department store, we have this lady. The lottery, if you get all the numbers matching with your ID number of the Pokemon in your party, you can get a Master Ball. Which almost never happens. It's meant to incentivize trading, but as usual, it's a mechanic that was popular in Japan because of the higher population density, but not here. And on that note, regarding the subject of rivals... So, in the first two generations, the rivals were much more antagonistic. Gen 3 marks the start of the friendly rivals, and that's basically every rival ever since. Because apparently the Japanese don't like the more arrogant characters, and what they want, they get, usually. Of course, nowadays the Pokémon Company is kind of doing the opposite, even though now they really shouldn't. But that's another story. But regarding their dislike of rivals that are actually, you know, threatening, I tell them, suck the hell up! <laughs> okay, so now we're back here. It's time for us to go to Mount Pyre and advance the story. Now we're going to run into ghost types out the ass here. So I am actually going to use Super Repel. Otherwise, we're going to... Well, this episode is going to be a lot longer, even than the last one at this rate. So this chick gives you a cleanse tag, which is supposed to decrease the rate of encounters of wild Pokemon if your lead Pokemon holds it, but I haven't noticed an appreciable difference. Actually, no, I think you use a Laron. Yeah, I can have a double battle with these two, or the Hex Maniac and the Black Belt, or I can just battle each of them one at a time. I just I'm gonna take a double battle. Oh wait, no, this guy's a Rhyhorn instead. Okay, so nowhere near as annoying. Because most of the time when a, an opponent uses Laron in this game, they're just going to spam Roar and waste your time. <clears throat> and there's Magic Coat, which is the unique move of Spoink and, well, Spoink and Grumpig, and for the life of me, I can't remember what it does. Moving on. Ariyama, that's another one of those Pokemon that likes to waste your time because they know Fake Out and Whirlwind. Nope. Not letting you waste my time. And it uses both, naturally. Die. Ah, fuck yourself. Sure, kiddo. We'll see.
You know, it would just be cheaper to take her to the movies, right? Just saying. Eh, never mind. And they were guarding an Ultra Ball. Hmm. Okay, we take those. Did I pick up anything? Yes, I did. What'd you get, Striper? Repel. Eh, we take those. And this chick's not a trainer. And here we have another battle with a Pokemon Breeder. Along with... Was it a Battle Girl or something? Psychic. Oh. Blabba Fett. Right. This is one of those really annoying Pokemon because you can't switch, and of course it just spams Tackle and shit. Uh, no, counter, rather. Counter and Mirror Coat. Oh, and Destiny Bond. <laughs> Eat shit, Blabba Fett. that one. Whereas for the breeder, because again, they use full teams of six, we're just gonna we're gonna fast forward through this one. I mean, it's not like these battles are really a challenge. Considering they're always underleveled. And that's that one over with. And here we have another Psychic up ahead. Hmm. Yeah, I will stick with Laron for now. I want to hold on to... Oh, Agron, rather, not Laron. I want to hold on to the tank's power points, because we got to fight Team Aqua at the exterior once you go all the way through. Ralts. We get an attack boost, that's always nice to see. You should be drawing in self-pity. Anyways, moving on to the next floor, second to last at this point, we have another Hex Maniac. Okay, we're gonna make this easier on myself and switch over. Oh, never, never mind. This is the second to last floor. Is 
Because again, Ariyama, one of those Pokemon that seems to be created specifically to waste your time in the mid and late game. Oh, and that's another annoying thing it could do. It could use knockoff, which is a special attack of this dark type. And, well, Hariyama's a physical attacker. Ergo, Hari Hariyama is not a Pokemon meant to really be a threat to you, at least just using its moveset. It's there to annoy you. Baba Fett. Mm -hmm. You know what? Okay, well, we'll just focus on the other one then. Yep, not happening this time. Don't want to give you a free hit. Nope. Oh, never mind. You don't have any other Pokemon. Be that way. Oh, come on! Oh, fuck you, Wobbuffet! Fuck you! You know, it's rather appropriate that you're already in the graveyard, because you're gonna stay here now! Fuck you. Annoying little bitch. Anyway, moving on. This is why we came all the way up here. Shadow Ball. Which, of course... That's Ghost-type move. Naturally, it's a physical attack in Gen 3. Because logic. And this one we're actually going to use right away, because we can actually get more than one. We can get those in the game corner. And this is the move that's going to replace Confusion. Now, we can take these holes down... And here we get a Lax Incense, which basically gives your opponent a 5% chance of missing the Pokemon holding it, but it also lets you breed Snorlax to uh, get Munchlax. Uh, well, actually, no. No. That's not what it does. That's Full Incense. That's in Gen 4. Anyways, we fell it on the wrong hole. That's what she said. Anyways, here's the right hole. That's also what she said. What was the Lax Incense for it again? Which Pokemon was it? Whatever. Does it really matter? Sea Incense, that's what you give to Meryl to get Azrael, but it also works like a Mystic Water, boosting your water type attacks. And now we're back on the ground floor, so let's go topside real quick. Okay. Pick up anything? Nope. Mm. 
There's a bunch of items up here, too. Among them is the TM for one of the more interesting moves introduced in this generation, Skill Swap. So, what this move does is, well, it lets you swap abilities. And this led to a pretty broken strategy where you could swap Wonder Guard off of Shedinja onto Sableye. Now, remember, Sableye, no type weaknesses. What does Wonder Guard do? You only take damage from super effective moves. Which means that it would result in a Sableye that cannot be directly hurt by anything. You would have to use things like Poison, or Burns, Hail, Sandstorm, things of that nature to be able to knock it out at all. And here's an Ultra Ball. And now, we take on Team Aqua. Now we don't need those. We don't need no stinking repels! Yeah, might as well swap those real quick. Oh right, Dark Type. Not very effective. Not that it matters. Well, Team Magma's already gone. But we'll be dealing with them soon enough. Well, I don't want to join either of you dweebs. Seriously, fuck Team Magma, team, fuck Team Aqua, Team Rocket for life. That's not going to help you. In fact, you're just going to make things worse. Oh, wait. Whoops, wrong Pokemon. I knew getting those flutes would come in handy. Even just getting the blue flute by itself can be very helpful. Down you go, and that should be the last of them. Nah, fuck you. And here we meet up again with Johnny Depp. I mean, Archie. Your mom should have pulled out. Wait, no. We... Man, I fucked that joke up! He didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, the Magma Emblem. We're gonna need that. Ugh. Whatever. 
How much more? Eh, not much. 2077? I could do that before the end of the episode. So here, you can find a zinc. And here, you find a rare candy. And finally, you get one last little treat. It's been a long time coming, but at long last, we're going to evolve our starmer, or starter, rather, to its final form. Say hello to... Metagross. A living supercomputer with four brains, apparently. And I think that's a good high note to end on. If you like what you see, comment, subscribe, like the video. Be sure to check out my Rumble page. Also keep in mind, we have a sub goal. If we get 10 subs, 10 followers on Rumble, uh, well, 10 subs on YouTube, 10 followers on Rumble. I'll go back and do the contests with seal types after I upload the video where I battle Steven. And, uh, I guess there's nothing else to do. I'll see you all next time.